Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video in which I'm going to be talking about the Ledger hardware wallet and more specifically the Ledger Live app for computer and your phone. Now you may ask yourself, Kai, why yet another hardware wallet video? Honestly, looking at the times we're in with Bitcoin and crypto prices hitting a new all time lows and the recent downfall of FTX and potentially more crypto exchanges to come, I think it's more important than ever to take self custody of your crypto holdings. And that's the amazing part of it. We don't have to be worried that if those exchanges fail, that our money will be gone, we can take full ownership of our crypto by having a Ledger hardware wallet. Now this video is not sponsored by them, I actually bought it from my own money and I've had great experience with them so far. But there are also other companies out there like Trezor and some of the more recent players, but Ledger has been around for ages and really established a lot of trust. So before downloading the Ledger Live app, obviously you should own a Ledger hardware wallet. If you don't have one yet, then please use the link in my description below and you're guaranteed to get a genuine Ledger hardware wallet because there are a lot of scammers out there that divert you to different websites. You buy from them and then you think you have the real deal but actually it's a fake one where they already have the seed phrase the words that are so important and protect your crypto they already have them written down but you think they are unique to you you write them down you start sending your cryptos to that wallet and they can then later on very easily drain your entire crypto by having those words already in place so make sure you never buy a used hardware wallet always buy a new one and buy it through the official website. And if you use my link in the description below, it really helps out the channel a lot for no additional cost to you. So once you got your ledger and there are obviously different options out there and I made a video comparing the different models and I link it in the description below, you can then go ahead and start downloading the software. So once again, you want to make sure that you go to the official website, which is ledger.com slash start. So here you're going to be greeted by the ledger live software. You just click on download and depending on your operating system, you download for Windows, Mac, whatever you have. Right. So once you download it for the first time, obviously, have to connect it to your ledger and I've done a whole video explaining you step by step how to do that and once again I'm going to put it in the description below that really walks you through how to set it up and how to start receiving your crypto from an exchange to your ledger wallet. Very simple but it takes a few steps and there are a couple of very important points that you need to get right so make sure you watch that before you set up your ledger. But once you've done that and you send your crypto that's basically how your home screen will look like. You have the entire overview of your holdings over here. You can see how it changed over time. Obviously I've just recently deposited all my Nexo holdings into my Ledger wallet because yeah, just right now I didn't feel safe anymore with Nexo even though I love the exchange and I think they're doing great work and much better than many others. At this time, honestly, I don't think you can trust anyone but yourself. That's why I want to take self-custody of my cryptocurrency. So from here, you can obviously see what's happening. You can buy and swap crypto, but I'll show you another screen where you can do that as well. Then you see the asset allocation. Obviously, for me, majority of that is Bitcoin, then a bit of Ethereum and Polygon. Some of my Nexo holdings are obviously still kept on Nexo because there I get staking rewards on those ones here. I don't, I could, there is a way to stake, but actually right now I just want to be safe Then sorry. And that's why I keep them all over here. And then you see the last operations, whatever you sent and received will obviously be noted here. And that's basically a ledger, so to say, recording all your transactions. Then you can click on market over here. And that's just a brief update of market values, market prices, etc. for the most popular coins. You can favorite some of them if you see them often and then you can click onto them. You see kind of how things are developing, how the prices develop and a very top level overview of some of the analytics, but actually quite little. I think coin market cap is much better to get a deeper insight. But if you want to at a glance, just see what's happening in the markets, which looking at the one year performance of minus 70% really hurts. But yeah, I usually prefer looking at coin market cap for that, but still is a good way to get a glimpse overview of what's happening in the markets. Then you can click on accounts and here you have all your different wallets, all your different accounts. So each cryptocurrency will have its own account and its own unique wallet address. And that address is basically where you send your cryptocurrency to from any exchange, wherever it is, that specific wallet address is yours for that specific cryptocurrency. So whenever you send it, it will come right here. So when I withdrew it from my Nexo account within a matter of minutes, Minutes, it was basically here and automatically updates and you will see you know the transactions and the holdings over here. From here I could change the view if I wanted to or I could change the sorting but as I don't have too many I quite like it uh, from the highest value to the lowest. So then I could click into Bitcoin and see again a bit more details for each. I could change the period to look at and uh, once again the latest transactions and from here I could receive, send, buy and swap. So that's very simple. I could also change the name over here, the unit, how it's displayed and of course I could remove it from the portfolio. Then there's the discovery app. So this is kind of of like a little app store where you can link certain things 
to your ledger, like the ledger market for NFTs. You can link your Binance account, you can link your Lido account to stake Ethereum. So if you would click it here, you could basically link those two and then you could stake your Ethereum from within Ledger Live. But actually at this stage, I don't want to link to any other services. I really just want to make sure my crypto are safe at this stage and I don't want to have too many things and staking right now. It's just not worth the risk and that's why I just want to keep them safe. Then you can obviously send your crypto. So you click on send and from here you say what you want to send. You can choose what you want to send obviously from the drop down. Let's say you want to send some Bitcoin and then you would just add the wallet address wherever you want to send it to a friend, to another wallet that you have online on another exchange. You would go to that exchange and say deposit and it would show you the wallet address. You copy paste it over here. Then obviously you go to amount, you say how much you want to send. It shows you the summary of the fees. If it's free or not, there might be a small processing fee. Then you would actually need to connect your ledger to the computer or in case you have a ledger Nano X, you can connect it via Bluetooth to your iPhone or Android device and confirm the transactions because you need that device in order to make the confirmation. That's the whole point of having a hardware wallet. On the flip side, in case you want to receive any crypto, which right now a lot of people seem to be doing, there's a huge outflow of cryptocurrency from exchanges to hardware wallets because everybody's fleeing to safety. There's definitely a lack of trust towards those exchanges and that's why people are receiving their cryptos into their wallet. So that's very easy to do. And I'll show you exactly how it works in my full tutorial, which I linked down below. But basically you would once again select what you want to receive. In case it's not here, you would go into accounts and create a new account. So here you can create a new account. You have a lot to choose from, um, even things like Shiba Inu. Uh, you could just select and then you would add it. And basically from there you could receive. So let's go back in case I want to receive some more Bitcoin. I click on continue and then you can see it asked me to confirm even to receive crypto from my ledger device. So I would connect it to the computer and then put my pin into the wallet to confirm the transactions. So let me quickly do that. And once that done, it asked me to open the Bitcoin app. I double click and basically it says Bitcoin is ready. It will load a second and you will see my wallet address for Bitcoin where I can send it to. So this one I can just copy paste and then go to the exchange from where I want to send it to copy that in and basically I'm good to go. It asked me to confirm on my device as well. So I go, I say approve and boom, address is shared securely. And now I can use that address and basically withdraw any crypto from my exchange and send it right to my Bitcoin wallet or any crypto wallet I choose to. Right, then there's also buy and sell. So here basically you could buy or sell cryptocurrency and it's very straightforward. You can just say what you want to buy and then select. And from here you have kind of anonymous pay where you can use your card to pay anonymously without having to register like MoonPay for example. But basically I'll show you in a second, you could choose here how much you want to pay. So let's say you want to buy Bitcoin worth 300 euros. Then you see the summary here, what you get. And then you can click on it and there's a network fee and then there's a processing fee. So that's 12 euros. So for me, that's actually really high. And that's why I honestly don't recommend using Ledger to buy and sell. So in this case, what I would do is go to my Nexo account, wire some fiat money, some euros into my account with those euros buy Bitcoin and then withdraw it into my Ledger wallet. Now I know it's a few more steps to do, but actually the larger amount is that you buy crypto with, it really starts making sense because some of those services have exorbitant fees and honestly, it's not worth the comfort. So I really prefer doing it through Nexo. This way I'm sure to get the best rate. And from there, it's super simple to withdraw. It takes a matter of minutes and you have it back in your Ledger wallet. And the same is actually true for selling. You could sell through Ledger Live as well, but once again, the fees are just exorbitant. And actually, I don't like to sign up with yet another payment processor. And that's why I would actually send my crypto to Nexo and from there sell it and then convert it either to fiat and I can withdraw the fiat money from Nexo to my bank account or exchange it to another cryptocurrency if I wanted to. The same, of course, for swap. So you could here swap one cryptocurrency for another. But once again, I usually don't do that. Plus, if I would, I would do it through Nexo as well. And then something cool that I started only recently is the Ledger cards. It's powered by Ledger. It's not 100% owned by Ledger, but they're working together with banks and seems to be pretty cool. As you can see here, you can have quick transfers between your card and Ledger Live, spend your crypto or use it as collateral. So similar like Nexo in a way that you can use it as collateral or directly convert it if you wanted to spend your crypto, but usually people don't want to spend their crypto. So you could just use it as collateral and spend against it and then repay at a certain time. And you could earn up to 2% cash back on every single transaction, which is actually quite attractive, though the 2% would be in BXX token. If you wanted to get your cash back in Bitcoin or USDT, it would be 1%, but still pretty nice to get that little incentive there. So actually, I'm quite interested in signing up to the card. And if you want me to do a full review on the card, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to do so. And lastly, you can go on my ledger. So this obviously only works once the ledger is connected and you unlocked it. It will take a second and it will basically check what's happening on your ledger. You see your capacity. It's funny, it's only 1.28 megabyte, but actually it's enough to store over 100 different cryptocurrencies. Some of the smaller ledgers, they only can store up to three to five cryptocurrencies. So make sure you buy a big enough, especially if you have more 
cryptocurrencies. But here you can see everything is fine. Firmware is up to date. It's genuine. And these are the apps you can install. You can install them straight from here. Basically apps means the different cryptocurrency wallets. So you could do that. And I can see here, these are the apps I have installed. I could uninstall, um, but obviously I want to keep them. Then over here, I have information center where they show you any news, the things that come out and the status, if everything is okay, but everything seems up and running and smooth. We synchronize, so that's good. You could hide and toggle on, toggle off the discrete mode in case you want to show someone your ledger portfolio. But in this channel, we're also all about transparency and showing the wins and the losses. And sadly, and my portfolio used to be well over 50,000 and now here we are. But patience is a virtue and I think long term, we're going to go back to some even higher numbers. Then you have a little help section over here and then settings. So let's click over this. Here you can change your preferred currency. So if you want to display everything in dollars, you could do that as well. So it will convert everything into the dollar equivalent, but I want to keep the euros. Your display language you can change as well, the region. So that's just for the dates, etc. Being a German, I like my German formats. And then of course the theme. And then you can also have a password lock for it, which I actually don't have because anyways, any transaction can only be confirmed by having the ledger and the password. So I don't want to have to enter it twice every single time. Then I can go into accounts and here it's quite interesting you can export the account and that's very important if you want to use ledger live on your phone you would click on this and basically scan it and i'll show you in a second how that works and that will import your portfolio to your phone because otherwise with that particular ledger you can't actually link it and use it on your phone so you would have to do it manually through your computer then i could download my operations history to have all the various transactions i could just download it as a csv in case i want to send it to my accountant for taxes etc um, you could do that from here hide empty tokens if you have some empty tokens you could do that as well hidden nft collections because you can also store your nfts in ledger live and that's amazing i don't have any nfts at the moment but if i did i would store them here as well and then the about section there's really not much to do the help section and experimental features but honestly once again when it comes to crypto i much value safety and security so i don't want to play around with anything that's not yet fully fleshed out so i leave my hands away from this and that's basically all about ledger live app for the computer now if i wanted to use it on my phone once again i would go into settings and then i'm going to click into accounts and then click export account and here it basically tells you very easily what to do so what you want to be doing is go to your app store and then look for ledger and then basically it comes right up ledger live crypto and nft and um, so this is the app you want to download they obviously have the same in the google store as well and then you just go ahead and open the ledger live i obviously already synced my accounts but if i didn't i would go into add account and then basically say from your ledger so in case my ledger was bluetooth compatible i could with bluetooth connect it to my phone and that would seamlessly sync between the ledger and my phone but in this case i bought a ledger without bluetooth functionality actually i did this on purpose so that's why i would click import from desktop okay and then all you have to do is scan the qr code and it will load a second and you will see boom these are all the accounts obviously they're already imported but if there was something new or an update i would say imported i would say yes and it would import an update and that's really all there is to it that's pretty straightforward the rest of the app is pretty much a replica of what you can do on your desktop you can see your various holdings etc and the transactions you have the market data over here the discovery for different apps etc and of course my ledger which once again i could now pair with bluetooth if i had a device that is capable of that but i specifically chose one without bluetooth because right now the only way this wallet works is through a cable it doesn't even have a battery and i keep it in my safe so somebody would have to crack my safe and then connect it physically to the computer in order to get access with bluetooth there's a slightly higher chance that they would be able to hack from outside the safe into the stick now i know that's highly unlikely and very very difficult but it's just a bit more security risk which i didn't want to have plus the comfort is not like i'm carrying the stick with me every day to check in or do transactions i usually just buy and hold so there aren't really many transactions happening where i would need that convenience with me so i'm really fine doing that the manual way through the computer and of course from here i could also buy sell send receive but as i said i really prefer doing it through nexo and then do it on my computer and in case you would have the card you can see the icon over here in the top left and uh, i haven't signed up yet but he would have basically a transaction history etc and more information to come i really like the app super simple to use it does what it should and really not much on top of it i like the simplicity and honestly i feel much better sleep much better knowing that my cryptos are safe that i have the keys because not your crypto not your keys you're going to keep hearing that sentence especially in those times you want to be holding on to your own private keys and not give those to an exchange because who holds the keys holds your crypto and if they go bust your keys go bust with them and basically your crypto is going to be gone so make sure you take self-custody of your cryptocurrency and if you want to get a full tutorial on how to set up your ledger wallet and how to send your cryptocurrency from an exchange 
to your hardware wallet, then check out the video over here where I'm gonna run you through the entire process. And if you don't have a Ledger wallet yet, then please use my link in the description below to ensure that you get a genuine Ledger wallet and in the process you support the channel, which is truly appreciated. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching all the way until the end. As always, stay healthy, get wealthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!